rim rocks just right here. Soil is far from the best by any means, but this is where the deer want to be. And ground and uh, see you up in the air. How's it going guys? It's so uh, next day, new day, depending on this is the start of the video. Uh, yesterday I went through and got this whole food plot, we got all the trees removed, holes kind of filled back in, but I brush hogged it all, so now it's the next morning. We're going around, I went around and spray painted, we're going to do electric fence, so I spray painted where all the corner posts are going to go. And now we're taking, we don't, Dad's getting the corner post right now, so for now we're just going to run a T-post into the ground, uh, where all the corners are going to go, just so we can run string lines, and then mark out where the actual T-posts are going to go spray there and then put the actual t post in while we're waiting on the corner pipe so that's what we got going on right now i'll flip the camera around we're about to put the first one in as i pull up to the uh, t post A couple cans of this orange, just ground paint stuff, and we went to some old electric, uh, old some new electric fence that we uh, had done on our other property last year, and they did 12, 12 of my steps. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I just step right on the string. Nice orange spot. I do that across the whole field. Then we're going to start running our actual T-posts. They're over there grabbing, loading a four-wheeler up a T-post so they can follow the tractor around and uh, probably catch up to you guys after we do all this. How's it going, guys? But it's been, uh, rainy and wet and nasty for the last couple weeks on and off so we haven't really been able to get up here we're just running the we got posts in the insulators on just gonna run the wire now tighten it up and turn it on i guess i don't know so i'll show you guys that all right guys well uh, it's been like four or five hours later. We actually ran out of wire going around. We got about two or three, two thirds, three quarters of the way around and ran out of wire with each roll. So we had to go back to the store, grab some more wire, came back, had lunch. Uh, actually went to some other stuff, cut some trees down. That's why I got a bunch of stuff in my hair, or my face. We cut a bunch of cedar trees down. A little afternoon project. Back in the evening. Where's it going? Got the wheels spinning. Got Levi down there splicing the wires together and stuff. So, like I said, uh, this isn't a tutorial by any means. Don't do what we do, probably, but we're just going to kind of show you some of the steps and kind of show you the finished product more than anything because we're not sure how, I mean, we've never done it before. So, we're learning as we go. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we're supposed to be getting two more loads of, it's not really topsoil, but just dirt, I guess delivered up here because we got some of these we got a bunch of big holes that when we push the cedar trees over the all the roof came with it and uh left big holes like a couple feet deep and stuff we already had one load delivered a couple like a week ago yesterday i took the tractor you can see it up over the hill uh and put that all out i didn't film that because i wasn't really first time i was really using the bucket ever on the tractor and it took me kind of a while to get it down and stuff but I got the GoPro to time lapse and the big camera. So if depending on when he's supposed to show up today, I figured there would already be a load here, but I don't see if there isn't. So hopefully in the next hour or so we get a load delivered and I can hop in the tractor while they finish up the fence. So we pulled, we connected the two, came back on each side, hand tightened it, ran it through these two little ratchets, ratchet them down. And from this side, they look super tight. He's got to go and connect this wire to the old wire or the other wire. So when he does that, he's gonna walk around and make sure it's tight all the way through. But I think that's about it. We're gonna get this other one done. I'll probably show you guys more on the second one of us like ratching it up, but it's kind of hard to keep it tight and be kind of hard to film. I might set the tripod up if I got it, but 
anyway, oops, got the wind a little bit. Anyway, that's it. I'm just trying to keep you guys updated a little bit as we go. Dirt still hasn't shown up, so I'm just hoping it shows up before we get done. So I got something to do before we go home tonight. But anyway, that's about it, guys. If anything exciting happens, I'll show you. But it's just running wire. Nothing too special. So, all right, guys. We got everything tightened and around, and I think we got it all hooked up. We're gonna try to turn it on and see what happened. I'll show you kind of how we did it. It's kind of jimmy rigged, but that's how everything we do is. So, um, here we go. So we got the two wires. A piece of wire that goes up there, connects the two, and then that tail of that comes around. We lost, there were supposed to be two nuts apparently, and we lost one, so we put this one on the ground, which is down to one ground post, over to a second ground post. And this one we just kind of got, we're gonna get in there a nut for it, but the positive, we just kind of have it wrapped around. So we're just gonna kind of see if it works. Uh, we don't need it to actually be like working, working for another month or a couple of months, so. Yeah. How's it going guys, it's the next day or couple days later from whatever you saw last. I don't know, this video's all over the place. But anyway, we're back up again. We got two big loads of, not topsoil, but dirt stuff. Uh, got the tractor here and we got some holes to fill in. I already got one load uh, last week and I spread it around. I didn't film any of that because I was kind of just, first time using the bucket on the tractor, so I was kind of just concentrating and getting it down. It took me kind of a while, but today I'm probably gonna time lapse and show you guys some of it. but. Uh, when I get most all the holes over here I've gotten fixed you'll see like there and there and stuff over here and there but in the far end of the field there's still a bunch more that needs to be filled in so I'm gonna show you guys that how's it going, how's it going Buck all right guys here to show you kind of what we're dealing with so we got these huge holes of rock from when we had the big cedar trees and we pushed them with the bulldozer the root balls came out with them and so I mean, and they're probably knee deep, some of them. So we got them like there, and here's another one, and I can see a couple more up there. Pretty much everywhere there's a big tree. So, got the tractor, I'm gonna start dropping loads. And I'm not trying to make this perfect by any means, just fill it up a little bit, back blade them a little bit, just so they're not giant pits. And that's really about all we can do. So, uh, Probably enjoy some GoPro musical time lapse type footage for the next couple minutes of this video until we get her all done, guys. So enjoy. Right, guys got everything done uh, i only beat oh it's starting to rain i only videoed the first little bit of it because i've been doing this for like two hours and you guys want to watch all that so as you can see which once was a two three foot hole 
there's no dirt. So let's say I go around and kick some of the edges in and stuff. But once it gets good rain, I think a lot of it will settle. I'm going to kick some of these big clogs in some of the big holes and stuff. A lot of this dirt is like, it's real, it's real clay. So it's real black, a lot of it. Like, so I don't know. We'll see. It's got to be better than rock, though. Uh, it feels like it's got a lot of nutrients in it for being just how thick and like we haven't gotten rain in a little bit now, so it should be pretty dry, but it's still so dense. I don't know. We'll see. This food plot's going to be one of those that no idea how it's going to turn out, but we're going to do our best and we'll get something to grow. I'm confident. <laughs> As I'm literally walking on gravel, basically. So that'd be great. Dad's got the electric fence hooked up. Said it should be working. I'm not going to just test it out, but I'm sure I'll get someone that will volunteer. But yeah, this food plot's just about done. Next step will should be uh, spraying. Once this, everything starts to green up and starts growing, we'll spray it good, kill everything, and be time to plant. <laughs> Our goal is to kind of like show the process of this food plot throughout the year because this is a place that most people would never think. People told me that nothing will grow up here. It's a waste of time. And I'm determined, and without fertilizer, my plan is never to put any fertilizer on this field. And I'm not going to plant, I don't think I'm going to plant beans in here this spring because I don't think they'll grow. I'm going to plant something that will be easier to grow and more tonnage. Uh, but by spring 2021, a year from now, my goal is to plant beans in here. And then by the fall, have them be like waist high or taller. So that's my goal. We'll see if it holds up uh, without putting any fertilizer or anything like that on it. So just using the ground and what I plant and blah, 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 but we'll get more into that in the coming months when we start planting. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I was gonna show you some the drone footage, but my dad took the drone with him when he left uh, after getting done with the fence. So I'm not gonna show you that, but not much change, just less holes. So <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for watching.